Hey, this is the InDesign Helper, and today I'm going to show you the pen tool. Well, the pen tool is pretty easy to understand, but I just wanted to show you an InDesign because a lot of people might not know how to use Photoshop or use Illustrator, and they're only using InDesign. So I'm just going to show you how to quickly use the pen tool. So this is how it is. I'm just going to show you right here. Basically, all it is, it's a point by point tool. And within those points, you could either fill it in, create a stroke, you could add effects inside or outside. So I'm going to show you by example, we're going to have here, we're going to click on a point. Then you click on a point here. And as you can see, it made a straight line and I can leave it like that. Or I could have a straight line and I could drag down as you can see. The more I drag down, the bigger the arch of the line gets. And if you could see over here, you see these two lines. These lines actually change the arc. Now, the way that I got to this is by holding option on a Mac. That'll be alt on Windows. And what you do is you click here and you could mess around with it. And then I could let go and I could continue clicking, figuring out what I want. And let's say this is what I want. All I have to do is go to the end of this point, see the zero or the circle, and then I click on it. And now I know that this is a complete image. So if I wanted to fill this in with cyan, all I had to do was do that. But now you're going to see what happens if I create an open shape. So I'm just going to make this squiggly thing. And I'm just going to put this line through. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this magenta. As you can see, it tries when it uses the fill tool, it just tries to fill in whatever intersects. So if we were to do this over here, as you could see, it basically tries to fold over itself, figuring out what parts should be filled or not. And this is something you could play around with yourself. You could even increase the point of the stroke. You could change how the stroke is, which could give you some really cool effects. You could change the opacity have object stroke fill you can add a drop shadow you could even add these other effects like a basic feather outer glow inner glow things of that nature and i think that it's just really cool that you're able to do these different things just within indesign and you might not need to use illustrator or photoshop if you're using very basic shapes and that's how you use the pen tool. I am going to show you how to use the other tools in InDesign in this video over here. Check it out. 